What is going on guys? This is Joss here and today we are back with, we're not back, this is my first Liverpool video on this channel where today we are going to be talking about Liverpool FC against Stoke City at what, the Bet365 Stadium. That is completely irrelevant. Basically what we're going to be doing is I'm just going to be reviewing the match, recapping it, shit like that. So, uh, best place to start is that Liverpool was shit, even though we won 3-0. Um, I think that we were clinical. We had, we definitely have some positives to take out of that game. But for the most part, Stoke City were the better team. You know, I say this like when we draw with Burnley or lose to Burnley um, and all of that stuff. When, when we're the better team against a shit team and still manage to lose. I say it. I say we were the better team, but we lost. And that is basically what happened for Stoke. They were the better team. They dominated the middle portion of the game, the opening, or not the opening 40 minutes, the middle 40 minutes or so, you know, 20 minutes on the either, on either side of halftime. Um, and then they still had their chances, um, especially towards the end, not so much at the start. I feel like we came out and we were the better team and then we slowly get the, let the game slip. Um, kind of like what we did with Seville, where, um, you know, they just kind of started getting some momentum going towards them and there was no one on the field really to break it. I think we did a little bit of a better job than against Sevilla. Um, you know, we had Bobby Firmino, who was pressing pretty well. I mean, he didn't really, you know, this was another quiet game for him, but I still felt that he kind of broke up the play when Stoke City were kind of dominating us. So you got to give him props for that. Um, Mignolet should have been red carded. I'll just say that now. I admit it. That was a fucking shit tackle. It should have been a red card and a free kick. I think if it was in the box, a yellow card might have been acceptable because they're getting the penalty and it was probably a more, more of an accidental tackle. He kind of just lay himself out trying to make a save more than trying to pounce on the ball, I think. I haven't rewatched the incident or anything, but that's just how I remember it. But yeah, it should have been a red card where it was at um, and we were very lucky. Um, we got quite a few yellow cards. I think there was only one or two stupid ones. I think the Mane one was pretty stupid. And uh, the Chan one, uh, you know, it, it, maybe it was in his head that they were on the counter-attack and he just needed to stop them. But to me, it just seemed like he was a little bit pissed off for being lazy on the ball and just kind of chased him down and fucking slapped him. Um, now let's get on to Mohamed Salah. What a fantastic sub he was. I mean, you know, two chances, two goals. That's what we've been needing. And, you know, people are still going to be saying, oh, we need a 20-goal a season striker. But in my opinion, we've got a 20-goal a season wide striker, not not a winger. That's that's too fucking, you know, normal. I've got to be a hipster cunt and say that he is a wide striker. He will score 30, 40 goals a season, this season, I think. Um, I know that form is a thing and that he may slow down, but I don't think he will. I think he'll score, you know, 40 plus goals, um, all competitions, of course. I'm, and if we get knocked out of the Champions League, that's obviously going to come down. But, 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 um, he was fantastic. And I actually had a complaint about Mane uh, by halftime. And that was just that, you know, what Mohamed Salah has been really good at doing when he's been in the team is just kind of forcing issues with the defense. You know, he gets in between uh, left backs and right backs and center backs and stuff. Not left back. I mean, obviously he's in between. the. Okay, you understand what I'm saying. He gets in between the defenders and forces issues. And I just felt that Mane wasn't able to do that either from deep or, you know, go going into the defensive line and kind of breaking it up with his pace and movement. But then he, he had that fantastic assist to, uh, what's his face, um, Mohamed Salah, um, what's his face? Am I a six-year-old? I can, I can come up with a better, you know, is that a verb or an adjective? It doesn't matter. This isn't an English thing. But uh, he, he came up with that fantastic pass for Salah, who uh, got a fantastic goal. Um, and yeah, yeah, I think that that kind of addressed my complaint at halftime, which was good. I mean... Obviously, needs to do better because we we should have wrapped that game up. Like he he got in behind, should have scored. I think twice. No, maybe he was offside once. But anyway, um, basically to recap the past four minutes of blabbing, I think that Liverpool were the worst team. I think that Salah kind of saved the day, and he is a fantastic player and a super sub and all of that shit. Uh, I think that Sadio Mane needs to be more like Salah. Um, he he has been that before, but I think. You know, since Salah's come in, or at least maybe in the past 10 games or so, um, that's just a vague guess, um, he has been less like, you know, a, a force to be reckoned with and just more of a quality player in the side. So, yeah, that's kind of my recaps. Um, 
I know this hasn't been the most organized or probably factually correct video in the world, but those are just my opinions. If you agree with them, let me know. If you don't agree with them, also let me know. I mean, I'm fine if you, you know, spam your, your comment with swear words. I can handle it. I mean, you've probably been able to tell that I'm a bit of a fucking belligerent cunt myself. So, this is where we're going to end the video, ladies and gentlemen. Check out all my content that is probably on the screen right now, as well as in the description. But other than that, I will see you guys next time I make a video. I hope you have enjoyed this one. Bye-bye.